Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about height mapping of terrain. So I just made some terrain. I'll zoom out so you can see it. There's my terrain. And what we're going to do is start to work with terrain that isn't flat anymore. So when we first make our terrain, we've got this flat space here. I think this is 2,000 by 2,000. It doesn't really matter what size it is. Your terrain can be any size. But what we want to do is we want to start to give this some contour. So we're not going to just have a flat blank terrain. We're going to actually have some hills and things like that. <clears throat> so the way that's going to work is first we're going to click on terrain right here. We just added it using this create terrain option up here in the terrain menu. And now we've got terrain in our hierarchy. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to look at all the different components that I have that are attached to that terrain. Uh, and the one that I'm specifically interested in is this one right here, terrain script. And this is going to give me a whole bunch of different options that I can use to adjust my terrain. Now, if you watched the last video, you probably saw me use trees. So if I click the little trees button, these are all the stuff that I can do related to trees. I can add trees, I can remove them. But I want to look at some of these other options, specifically the first three. So if I look at uh, number one here, the first box, I've got raise and lower terrain. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a brush. So when I go ahead and jump into the, uh, oh, I did a little bit already. When I go ahead and jump into my game, I get this brush that lets me add terrain, or not add terrain, it lets me uh, add to the height of my terrain. So the longer I hold down in the spot, the higher up that, uh, I guess you could call it mountain, that peak is going to be. And so I can kind of very slowly move my brush around and add to the height of the terrain wherever I want. So you could use this to make corridors or mountain ranges or anything you want, depending on how big uh, your brush is and how big your world is. So I can actually adjust a couple different things. I can adjust the brush size right over here under settings. So I can just drag that up, make that a little bigger. Or I can drag it down and make it smaller. Some little tiny molehills to go with my mountains. Uh, or I can change the kind of brush that I'm using. So I can click on all these different shapes and get different kinds of patterns appearing here. There's a whole bunch of cool things I can do. Whoa, look at that. Cool. You can get some crazy shapes, like a star. Uh, and I imagine you could probably import your own brushes if you wanted to. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this course. But it can be done. So you could have a brush that looks like anything you want. So there you go. That is adding height. Now, if you want to remove height, if you want to lower the height of your terrain, you can hold down the Shift key while you click. And that will lower your terrain. You can even see it says click to raise, hold shift to lower right there. So we can lower things down too if we want to. Uh, we also have a couple other terrain tools. So right now we've just been using the raise and lower terrain uh, button here. But we're going to go ahead and switch to the next one, which is paint height. So what this is actually doing, this is similar to uh, raise and lower, except we're not just you know raising and lowering arbitrarily. We're actually going to set a height that we want. And this is really good for making plateaus. So for example, if I go ahead and paint in some uh, stuff with the paint height tool, I'm actually going to be able to get a plateau. And there we go, like a nice flat uh, raised surface there. You see that? And the reason we end up with that is because of this height slider right over here. So we can set our height. In fact, I'll bring that up and I'll make some more higher plateaus right there in the middle of my other plateau. So I can set a height, and I'm going to get a plateau at that height. Uh, and if you notice down here in the smaller text, it says hold shift to sample target height. I can grab a height from anywhere on here. So let's say I want something to be this tall. I'm just going to go ahead and hold shift and click on it. And you'll see the height here changes. So depending on where I click, the height will change as long as I'm holding shift. So I'm going to go ahead and click right there on this peak. And now all my plateaus will be at the height of that peak. Pretty cool, right? And then the last thing we've got here is smooth height. That's the third button on here, smooth height. And we can just kind of smooth out some of the rougher edges here. Uh, I'll give that a try. Make my brush a little smaller. Give that smoothing a try. And there you go. Smooth that out pretty nicely. This is a little rough. We can smooth that out. You can see everything looks, surprise, smoother. There you go. Got some rough edges. We can just go ahead and smooth those out. Might even make my brush a little bit bigger so I can get it smoother a little bit faster. There you go. So those are your three terrain altering tools. And we'll go and talk about some of this other stuff later. But there's your terrain. So go ahead and make some really cool looking creatures.
crazy terrain with some mountains and stuff.